All right, so I got three bay windows. One, two, and three. And today we're gonna cover this one with metal. First thing to do is put on some drip edge. So when we've cut all these angles, you've kind of had to make a educated guess and do a lot of fit work around these because these are kind of odd, uh, odd angles. Pretty good. Slow up.
Yep, yep, that's what we did before we went in two from the peak of the roof. 40. All right, so we have all our roof panels on and we're getting ready to put on our Z channel. And I'm gonna apply the beetle tape to the first piece. What the beetle tape does, it's kind of like caulk, except uh, it'll seal thicker gaps and it's heat resistant and has all kinds of other good properties. It's kind of like a <laughs> Kind of like a putty. So we have it lined up on our lines on the top and the bottom. We're gonna drill some holes and screw it down. So now that I got the top and bottom secured, you wanna put a screw in this about every four inches so you get a nice tight seal.
So once we get the first Z channel secure, then we cut our second piece and we take two pieces of scrap bridge cap to help us figure out where the second piece goes. So without that, it'd just be a guessing game that probably wouldn't end well. Good. So now we're locking the end with a special piece of Z-channel that we formed. It's a little bit taller, so we can wrap around the bottom of the drip edge. All right, so now that we got our Z-channel on and we got all the holes plugged, we're ready to take our ridge cap and it's just gonna slide right on the top. And uh, there's like a hemmed edge that's gonna wrap around underneath the Z-channel and it'll hold it down and then we'll do a couple pop rivets on top.
All right, this side's done. Now we're gonna get done with the other side. All right, so we got both ridge caps on, and the next thing we need to do is go up the side where the roof meets the wall and fill all that in with Z flashing. And then we're going to make some custom pieces that are gonna basically flash the roof to the wall. when you screw it down. I think we're good and needle taped up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is put a three quarter inch hem on this edge using these two roller tools. Okay, so we're done with that one. We got about a 90 degree bend. Then we're gonna use this one from rapidmaterials.com. The perfect bender. All right, so that's it. We have a nice tight three quarter inch M and then we're going to bend the panel wherever we need to, to get the flashing to line up correctly. Um, this one is gonna go on the top. So we are going to bend it here at about five inches, actually here at about five inches, um, at about maybe a 25 degree angle or something like that. So we're gonna put a three quarter inch M on both sides of this panel and then we're gonna cut it down the middle those are going to be our side flashings that kind of go down the hip. All right, that side's done. Now flip it and do the other side.
And that's all there is to putting the hem on a piece of metal. So now we need to cut it down the center, a couple different spots, and then figure out where we're going to do our 25 degree bend. Pretty good. Alright, so we're all done. The only part that I didn't get to record because my camera died was uh, putting on the flashing tape up around the top edge against the wall, which that's pretty self-explanatory. So a reason why you might want to do a metal roof over a bay window or a small porch uh, versus asphalt is because if you have asphalt roof in your house, it's a really good contrast to uh, help like add in the design and the look of your house. It's also nice because when the time comes when you do have to do a new asphalt shingle roof on your main house, you don't have to mess with these little roofs and tear off siding and all kinds of other things. And it's just going to look nicer and it's going to last a lot longer. And you don't need a roll former like we have to do a roof like this. You can just go to a metal roofing manufacturer and order what you need. And then after that, all you need is a few hand tools and a drill and you're good to go. Also, those custom pieces that we made that go up around the perimeter of the roof next to the wall, you can order those. We didn't know exactly what we needed, so we decided to make them ourselves. So I think that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you later.